awesome. It's got a lot of powerful. So, so here's the thing, guys. I mean, introduction to X pandas. Uh, pandas basically. Um, oh yeah, that's that's very nice. Uh, anyway, so coming back to pandas. Now, pandas basically whatever we can do on Excel, right? Idly, we should be able to do it on on a platform like Python and. Uh, pandas is that library that basically helps you uh, do that particular stuff much more even better than Excel right now the only difference that you're going to get from Excel and pandas is the ability to have it visually visible to you right it's not that ED is going to be completely code imagine doing Excel completely with code right so that's what uh, the pandas is right and uh, there are, you know, I've been an Excel user for like 10 years and then uh, the kind of things that pandas can do um, uh, much more quicker uh, than Excel uh, will surprise you, right? It, it only can surprise you, right? So if you're able to, will, if you're willing to learn that way and then uh, adopt pandas as a default, you're going to enjoy doing data science um, and be like the quickest guy on the block to do uh, manipulate data, right? So uh, pandas is so much important there, right? So we're going to cover series. Now, all, uh, all the Nam NumPy arrays uh, and all that that we list, all that we cover within uh, what we say within uh, NumPy was one piece, but within pandas, we basically refer to series, right? So whatever list or arrays we have, is going to be referred to as series. Now within pandas, they're going to be a little different, but however, pandas is built on, on top of NumPy. So you're going to see some similarities there, but um, the difference is that, you know, we are going to reference panda libraries wherever, and then whenever we are referring to a, a single dimension array or a list, within pandas, it's going to be called a series, right? So that is one piece of it. Now, a lot of lists and arrays that we have seen from different packages or by default within uh, Python, right? They will be available, but you know, to, to be usable in pandas, we should be able to convert it to a pandas series, right? So a lot of codes uh, that we're initially going to look at is going to be around how do we take the elements from outside different libraries and then convert it into a series or a data frame within pandas, right? So then it becomes a data frame for us to be reused, right? So uh, we're going to see a lot of those elements uh, that are there. And then we're going to see data frames. We're also going to do missing data, um, you know, uh, codes, you know, group by codes. Now, can anybody tell me what is group by um, within Excel? Any, any references to what group by? Uh, will be within Excel. I will tell you a hint. It's in the insert tab. Yes, pivot tables, exactly. And the other way, the another function that we have is basically summary function, right? So basically you'll have a function called as sum ifs, right? So if you, if you have there, you know, something like average if, count if, right? So all of these uh, are summary functions, right? So they're going to be very critical. Uh, group by again is going to be very critical there, right? So merging, joining and concatenating, right? So merging and join are like pretty much the similar stuff, but the implementation or the way that we implement is a little different. Uh, concatenating is basically, you know, placing one data uh, below each other, right? Above um, you know, below each other. So if you have a data set and you want to, you know, place one, two of these data sets, one below the other, that's where we'll be doing it, right? So that's, that's the premise in which we have. Then we have operations, like what can we do with two different data frames and what can we do on top of it? And then input and output here, right? Rather, I'm just going to begin with the input and output. Uh, that should be the first step. And then we'll, we'll basically do the rest of the things here, right? So I'm just going to be referring to this document right now. That is, uh, uh, it's called a data input and output, right? So can you all just open that, that piece first? And then I'll just show you some quick examples and then um, uh, uh, we can move on to the next topic there. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm not going to cover a lot of it, just few CSV imports and outputs, right? And just the Excel part, rest of them are up to you to um, refer to. So basically we have this import NumPy as an MP, import pandas as PD, and we can basically import it um, just like how we did for NumPy, we have now pandas as PD, right? And then if you want to import a particular CSV file, what you can say is you're gonna, you, you can basically have a variable name called, uh, called as a data frame. And then we say pandas.read underscore CSV example, right? And this particular example uh, will be available here, right? So this is the Excel file that I want to import. So if I import that file and if, if there is an extension, right? So if there is an extension such as this, you can just mention the extension and then import it, right? So if I run this code and then import my data set, it's going to be uh, in this format, right? So A, B, C, D are the columns, zero, one, two, three, four are the rows, and then you get these values here, right? So that's how you import CSVs. Right, and, and we're going to uh, import so many data sets uh, there, but yeah, that's that's how we can uh, begin it with, right? And then we also have, if you want to export certain elements, right? So what you can say is take the data frame and then say to CSV, right? Um, and then give, um, let's say export dot CSV and then run this particular code, right? So if you run this, it's basically going to export that data set into Excel for us to reuse, right? So that's all I need you to know for now. We should be just be able to learn what goes in and goes out from this particular case. I hope that makes sense guys. So far with me. So index is equal to false. Uh, so if you basically uh, remember that zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, I mean, uh, the, the, the indexing ways of selecting it, right? So if you do this, what it does it uh, is basically gets this index zero, one, two, three, right? So we don't want this. So instead of deleting it here, we just say index is equal to fall and false and then it basically just exports the data set itself. Okay, cool. So that's all I need you all to know for now, just to be able to import and export, right? So within Excel, uh, there is a little slightly different process. Excel can have multiple sheets. So it's but natural that you need to mention the sheet name, right? So you say sheet name is equal to something and then you import it. Right, so if you import it, you're gonna get the same data frame and then to export it, what you can do is you can give dot .xlsx and then also give a sheet name uh, along with it, right? So that way you are able to export a uh, Excel file also. Uh, 